Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to show you guys how to transfer the SIM card from your old iPhone to the brand new iPhone 14 Pro Max or any other iPhone 14 model that you might have purchased. Now, I want you guys to assume for this video that this phone here is the iPhone 14 Pro Max or any iPhone 14, and I want you guys to assume that this is your old iPhone. We're going to transfer the SIM card from this phone to this phone. As you know, iPhone 14 does not have a physical SIM card tray, but the old iPhones all have it. So obviously you cannot remove your physical SIM card and put it into this guy. What we have to do instead is do a software transfer. Now, first and foremost, the requirement says that both phones must be connected to iOS 16 and make sure the old phone has a passcode, but that the phone is unlocked just like this. But you have to have a passcode, but the phone must be unlocked. It could be on the home screen, could be on the settings, doesn't matter. Just make sure it is unlocked and available. And of course, they must both be connected to Bluetooth. Now, once those conditions are met, it's going to be a very easy process. All you do is go to the settings on each phone and then tap on seller on the new phone, on the iPhone 14. Tap on it, and you're going to see this option that says set up cellular. So you're going to tap on it, and it is automatically going to recognize that there's a phone sitting next to it, your other iPhone, and it's going to allow you to transfer the number on this phone to this phone electronically via software. So whether you have a physical SIM in this phone, or even if you have an eSIM, which is not unusual, many iPhone users have an eSIM, just like many Samsung users already use eSIMs, but most people have physical SIMs in their phones, and because you cannot take that out and put it into the new iPhone 14, this is the option you're gonna choose. Over here, you're gonna see your phone number. In my case, it is blurred out. It says transfer from another iPhone, this one right here. It knows the number. You have some other options that you can also use, but most carriers are going to support this option, most major carriers in the U.S. And then once you're ready, all you do is tap transfer. Now, once you do that, you're going to get a quick pop-up. It's going to say once the phone is transferred from this to this, the number is going to stop working here, and it's going to start working here. In fact, you can see on the top we have a bunch of bars. That means this phone is active. Here it just says SOS, emergency. So this one is an inactive phone. So once you're ready, you tap on transfer. One more time. It doesn't matter if you have a physical SIM or an eSIM here. Once you tap on transfer number, it's going to do everything necessary to convert it over. If you see any pop-ups, any instructions, just follow them exactly. So I'm going to tap on transfer number. And it's going to ask me to confirm it. So it's saying transfer SIM for this number to the other phone. You're going to say yes. You're going to say transfer SIM. Now it says at the bottom activating. Alrighty. So let's wait for that to happen and see exactly what happens. Might take a couple minutes, a couple seconds. It's all based on the carrier. In my case, I'm using AT&T. It's saying connecting to network. All right, let's wait for that to happen, and that's it. It is complete. That's how easy it is. So as long as you're doing iPhone to iPhone transfer, it's going to be a very easy process, but it's going to be a little more complicated with extra steps if you're going from iPhone to Samsung. So now we have the bars here. These bars have disappeared. I'm going to tap on Done. You're going to see your number here. Again, I have it blurred out. Tap on Done, and now that SIM is here. This is the number. My number has transferred over. I can start using this phone. This phone is deactive. If you have a physical SIM in this phone, just remove it and throw it away because that SIM card now is useless. It has been converted into a software SIM. It's right here. And by the way, on the iPhone 14 or any iPhone that has an eSIM, to remove an eSIM, you just say delete eSIM. Tapping on delete is just like pulling it out from here and throwing it away. It's the same thing. You can always transfer back and forth. Now, one more thing I want to show you guys is how easy it is to transfer the eSIM back and forth 
from iPhone to iPhone, from iPhone to Samsung or other manufacturers is going to be a problem. It's going to require extra steps. But from iPhone to iPhone, look at this. If I go here now, I can basically transfer this back to this phone by tapping this and tapping that button again. Look at that. I can just do it just from here. My phone number is listed here. I can tap it, tap on continue. It goes right back. All right. There might be daily limits on how many times you can do it, but it's very easy to do. So that's it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?